I had such an amazing time. And I think it's because I didn't have to go through the difficult grieving aspect of the story because they were grieving my character. It's my life on the line and I want to tell my story. My character was no longer around. She's not part of the documentary. She's very much objectified in the documentary. And there was a certain amount of freedom bringing her to life. And it was, in a way, it's kind of an honour to be asked to do it because it's such a well-known, horrible tragedy. Honestly, it was one of the best jobs of my life. We had the luxury of brilliant writing. Those scripts were actually just so complex. Each character is so whole and complete and alive. I'd like to make a toast to so many better days ahead. There is so much material to listen to, to read, um, to watch, and, and there's some very specific signatures about Michael Peterson and, and his idiosyncrasies and speech patterns. And I was curious to know if by trying it on for myself, whether that would tell me anything. And I promise you, when we're on the other side of this, things will be better. I personally watched the documentary before I knew that they were making a, a, a series. I was completely obsessed. My research kind of consisted on a lot of re-watching of the documentary and gathering scraps of info from wherever I could. Yeah, I was kind of the same. I think like trying to understand what it would feel like to be essentially baseless for the majority of the early years of your life. I think that really helped to create the bond between Sophie and I for our characters. It was like feeling like we only had each other. It came pretty naturally to us, I think. <laughs> Dad has been there for us always. Stop questioning everything. Just stop. I can't. I can't. I can't. Our characters weren't that present throughout the documentary, so we really got to have fun of, of learning a lot more than what was on the screen. Well, this was my first time playing a father, and I am a father. It's a big part of who I am as a person. So I think the part of the character I was most excited to explore was that, was fatherhood. For me, I think, you know, the decision-making process that goes behind going to the other side, the only family that you're left with going against them, exploring the psychology behind that was very fascinating. When we're actors, like, we want to do the character justice. It's always going to be a gnawing thing of, like, did you illuminate anything real and true? I got to talk to Bill as well, which was Fantastic. And I guess if nothing else, sometimes speaking to real people helps ground the reality and makes you really want to honor them and play them in a respectful way. To La Familia. And to the ones we miss. La Familia. La Familia.